What's up guys? This is part 2 ng Mathematics of Finance. Ang topic natin ngayon ay compound interest. Before we proceed to this topic, may clarification lang tayo sa simple interest. So we all know that the formula for simple interest is F is equal to P plus PRT. Gusto ko lang emphasize na ang value ng T dito ay in terms of years. Not in months or days, but in years. So if given ka ng time which is in months, you have to convert it to years. So again, the simple interest, T should be in terms of years. Compound interest is interest that is paid on both an original, principal, and accumulated interest. Ibig sabihin, hindi ito kagaya sa simple interest na same amount lang ang madadagdag kasi dito sa compound interest, habang tumatagal, pataas ng pataas ang dagdag. So, sa compound interest, we need to know these terms. For principal P loan, meron tayong nominal annual rate of interest R. Meron, meron din tayong M compounding periods per year. So, itong M, ito yung kung ilang beses ang compounding sa isang taon. Meron din tayong interest rate I which is equal to R over M per compounding period. So if R is the nominal annual rate of interest R, itong I naman is interest rate per compounding period. We also have T in years and since M is compounding period per year, ang compounding period for T years I N is equal to MT. So ang value ng M is, this is the number of compounding period for one year, itong n naman ay this is the overall number of compounding periods. So, ito yung formula ng compound amount. So, f is equal to p times 1 plus i to the power of n, which is equal to p times 1 plus r over m to the power of mt. So, depende kung ano yung given sa problem. So, kung given yung interest per compounding period, you can use this formula. And if given yung, uh, given naman ang nominal annual rate and compounding period, you can use this formula. Para magkaroon tayo ng idea sa value ng compounding periods, meron tayong table para dyan. So, this is a table of, uh, to determine the value of M. So, if interest is compounding annually, M is equal to 1 kasi annually means once a year. If interest is compounding semi-annually, M is equal to 2. Compounded quarterly naman ay M equals 4. Compounded monthly ay M is equal to 12 kasi monthly meaning once a month and since sa isang taon meron tayong 12 months, so 12 yung compounding period per year and thus M is equal to 12. For example, 
Suppose you decide to save 15,000 in a bank that offered 12% interest compounded, compounded once a year. How much money will you have after 10 years if it is compounded annually? So dapat malaman muna natin kung ano-ano yung mga given. So P is equal to 15,000 pesos kasi yan yung amount na isi-save mo sa banko. So 12% interest compounding compounded once a year meaning R is equal to 12% which is equal to 0 0.12. 10 years means T is equal to 10 and compounding annually means M is equal to 1. So using F is equal to P times 1 plus R over M to the power, to the power of MT, we have F is equal to 15,000 times 1 plus 0 0.12 over 1 to the power of 1 times 10. So, nag-substitute lang tayo dito ng mga values. So, this is equal to 15,000 times 3.1058, which is equal to 46,587. So, after 10 years, yung 15,000 na sinave mo sa bank ay magiging 46,587 using compound interest.